Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be recreating some Pinterest looks that I think are perfect for fall transitioning into winter, like date night kind of looks. Doesn't necessarily have to be date night of course. These are perfect for going out to dinner, even going to class if you like to dress up, if you are going to class and your class isn't remote. But I decided I was going to do these looks a little more like fancy. Not fancy, but just not loungewear because I know all the hype right now is loungewear. Everyone's wearing sweatpants, sports bras, sweatshirts. Like that's literally everyone's wardrobe nowadays. And me too, I'm very guilty of it. But I think it's important to get dressed up some days, make yourself feel really good. And I know for me especially, I'm always looking for inspiration on what to wear when I go out to eat, like either with Harry or just with friends. And whenever I look up, like on Instagram or Pinterest outfits, it's all loungewear. I found five Pinterest outfits that have definitely been circulated so many times. I'm sure you all have seen at least one of them and I'm gonna recreate them with the clothing I have now. So I thought this would be such a fun, cute video idea. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already and we're just gonna jump right into it. So this first outfit that I'm gonna show you guys, I actually wore back in October to a winery with Harry. It's the perfect fall look, but you can definitely wear it into the winter as well. I'll insert a picture here that I found off Pinterest. This is how I recreated this look, and this is pretty sure the exact outfit I wore to the winery last month. So the tank top is really old, but you can wear any white tank top. It's from American Eagle. And then this tan corduroy jacket is from Shop 12th Tribe. It is so cute. I just got it for my birthday in September. I absolutely love it. It's cropped, but it's not extremely short. Um, it goes just about to my belly button. And then these jeans, you've seen them in a million videos. I've had them for over a year now. They are BDG, like, mom jeans. And I got them from Urban Outfitters last year, like I said. I love them. They're super comfortable, very flattering, and I think they look perfect with this outfit. The shoes aren't in the screenshot, but when I went to the winery, I paired the outfit with snakeskin little booties. I thought they were so cute, and they tied in like the brown look with the outfit. If you're not into booties, I would definitely recommend wearing white sneakers with this look. Here I am wearing just white, plain sneakers. They're kind of like Air Force Ones, but obviously they're Adidas. And I think they match perfectly with this outfit as well. So I don't have a big enough mirror, but they look super cute. And this is more of like a casual vibe. And as for accessories, you could really wear absolutely any accessories you want because this outfit is so neutral. Uh, it does need accessories though, I say. So I just paired it with a gold like pendant necklace that I have and some gold hoops. And these are my everyday earrings, they never change. It's so cute, could wear it absolutely anywhere at any time. Now this next outfit is actually extremely similar to the first. The only difference is the pants and the shoes. Doesn't look much different, like I said, same top, but you can wear like a bigger baggier um, white tank top or white t-shirt underneath. Again, the jacket from Shop 12th Tribe and then plain black jeans. Pretty sure these are from either Hollister or American Eagle. I've had them for so long. And I almost like it better in black just because I love black. I love wearing black. I think it's very flattering and everything. So this is the look. And the shoes I have are just these chunky black little booties they are from urban outfitters you can find them absolutely anywhere though i wear these all the time they're such a staple especially for this time of year and for jewelry i didn't really change much but i did put on a different pair of earrings these are more like statement earrings they're like a burnt orangey color perfect for this time of year again but i just changed them just to show you guys that you can literally wear absolutely any jewelry with this outfit it's so neutral and it's so cute Outfit number three is definitely one of my favorites for the transition into winter that we're about to experience. So the way I recreated this look is again with my black jeans and this white 
let me show you. It's like a, I don't know what they call this, kind of like a padded shoulder shirt, but not really. Almost like a muscle tee because it doesn't go that down. But it's from Zara and it's one of my favorite shirts to pair with jackets recently. So I have that on. And then this jacket I actually got from Francesca's, just a store in the mall if you guys have ever heard of it. It's a green suede jacket. It's not exactly the jacket that's in the picture, but any suede jacket will work. I thought this was so cute and you can easily dress it up because since it is like a faux suede material, um, it's dressy to begin with. But as you can see, I'm wearing it with black jeans. You can do leather pants too. That would dress it up really nice for like a date night or going out to dinner. As for shoes, I am again wearing the black chunky boots. I'm telling you guys, these are an absolute must for the fall and winter. So comfortable, so cute. And then for jewelry, I switched it up and I put silver earrings on just to change it up. Again, you could wear absolutely anything with this. I even think that a big statement belt would look really nice if you tuck in the shirt a little bit in the middle and let the rest hang out. Like a statement belt would look super cute. Um, I would personally wear it with my black and gold Gucci belt and then obviously gold accessories. But again, really anything will go. It's so cute. This outfit is another basic yet really cute and pretty outfit that can be either dressed up or dressed down. So this is how I recreated it. So it's not exactly as the picture because again, I didn't go shopping for these outfits. I'm just recreating them from what I have in my closet. So to start, I have this black cami that I honestly don't know where it's from because I got it two years ago, but I think Target. But as you can see, it's like a silky material with this lace top, almost kind of like a pajama, like lingerie-ish type top, which is really pretty and easy to dress up. And then I have it thrown on with this sweater. And this sweater is something that I would change if I was recreating this look like actually at the store. So this is more of a thin, like black and white, but gray cardigan. And if I was recreating it, I would get more of a chunkier, like black and white, like Oreo type of sweater. I think it would just look more wintry because this, since it's so light, it definitely won't keep you warm. And then again, I have on my BDG jeans. And the picture, she's wearing more of a medium wash um, boyfriend slash mom jeans. So again, I would do a more medium wash just to make it better for the winter time. But this is the look I came up with. And then I also included the bag just to make it look more like the picture. This bag is from Zara. I absolutely love it. I got it last winter. And this is the look without the bag just so you can get a better look. It's so cute. Easily dressed up with a pair of black heels. But again, I paired it with the black boots. Shocker. But not really. <laughs> I just love this outfit. I think the tank top again is so pretty. Um, this is definitely a date night, like a little sexy, but cute and pretty outfit. I'm just wearing these earrings I got from Nordstrom Rack. I think they were by Madewell, but typical normal earrings. You could do a necklace, but I think since the neckline is so busy, it definitely doesn't need one. And the final look I'm recreating is more on the boyish, tomboyish, casual street style look <laughs> that's a lot of characteristics but it really fits all of them it's super like grungy perfect for winter time um, especially with the layered jackets and this is how i recreated the look she has a denim jacket on but of course i don't have my oversized denim jacket here i only have a cropped one and it would look ridiculous with this but any denim jacket would work. Obviously, I'd say it has to be a little bit oversized if you're going to be wearing it over a sweatshirt and a flannel. So to start from the bottom, I am wearing this pretty little thing, oversized sweatshirt. I featured this sweatshirt a lot last year. It was my absolute favorite. I wore it all the time. <laughs> I just love neutrals. And then over top, it's this is actually a flannel from Walmart, believe it or not, in the men's section. Again, I got it oversized. I think I got it in a large or extra large. And I think it wears over this sweatshirt really cutely. And then for jeans, 
I have on these black high-waisted ripped jeans from H&M. They're actually one of my favorite jeans. I think they are the curvy line jeans and they're just really flattering. I mean, you can't really tell because it's like all black, but in pictures, they're very flattering. They go very high up too. I'm pairing it with these Zara boots. They're more of a statement boot and it definitely brings in the street style to this look. They're just black pearled like combat type boots. The only problem I have with these is that they make my feet look humongous, but what can you do? They're still super cute, so I love them. For accessories, I wore a long pendant necklace that I always wear. The girl in the picture does have a long necklace on. I definitely say to like girl up the outfit, I would do like a long layering necklace. Um, I have again the same earrings as last time. They're just basic earrings. Gold hoops would also look really cute as well. And I know it's November, but winter is right around the corner. So I just want to show you how you can make any of these outfits winter. And it's with a cute beanie. So this one, if I'm being honest, guys, is actually from like middle school. <laughs> like I have no idea where it's from, probably like Target. Like I really don't know, but any beanie would work. I just thought this with the gold studs would be really cute and again like more of like a street style like grungy look but also girly i just thought it looks so cute this outfit definitely obviously a winter look again with the denim jacket over top it'd be even cuter but i don't have that so this is the best that i can do super affordable again these are from walmart the finals are ten dollars jeans h m very cheap just an overall really great staple look. I love the oversized trend going on, so. But that will be all for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I thought it was something more creative and fun to do instead of just the repetitive college vlogs because again, nothing's really going on, so it's hard to get fun content that you guys wanna watch. But I hope you guys can find some inspiration from these outfits and I hope it encouraged you to step up your wardrobe Get away from the sweatshirts and leggings sometimes, maybe like once a week. Try and dress up. It'll make you feel a lot better and you look a whole lot better too. So again, like this video. If you enjoyed watching, subscribe. I have a bunch of more content coming up with the holidays. So stay tuned. Keep me posted. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.